You bringing home Chipotle is the modern man bringing home a mammoth carcass. <laughs> One time I was gonna have sex with this dude after a concert and we went to okay. shower off and I did this naked little jig and went, it's time to wash me holes <laughs> and he made me go home. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> oh my god. Hello YouTube, this is Charles Orr, the Destroyer. Um, if you like my content, you want to help me grow, I appreciate you. Please uh, do algorithmic interaction with me, such as like, comment, subscribing, etc. Grab your snackies, grab your bevies. Today we're going to watch or react, I don't know, to um, Are Women Okay by Shoe on Head? I... There's like a lot of opinions about this YouTube creator, but this was sent to me and I feel like the answer is no, but we're going to find out, I guess. So let's get to watching. We're long <clears throat> gone. I'm of course talking about the gender war. Hold on, what? War. And broke it. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. And Raytheon stuff. War is a terrible thing, and this war has been happening for a very long time, from before mm. most of us were born, and will be raging on <coughs> after we're long gone. <coughs> I'm of course talking about the gender war, men versus women. For those of you who've been following me for the past year, you know of my ongoing research into the man question. From learning how to what be is a the real man, man question? if you're a grown ass man and you wear a seatbelt in the passenger seat, you are likely to be a raging homosexual. What? If you're a grown ass man and you get into my passenger seat and you do not put on a seatbelt, you are getting the fuck out of my car. I'm not getting pulled over and having to talk to the police. What the fuck? Get out. What is wrong with you? Like, I, I don't understand why there's like this whole like, oh, Get in the passenger seat. I'm not putting on my seatbelt. Yeah, the fuck you are. I don't care if you're in my back seat. You're putting on a goddamn seatbelt. First of all, I drive a minivan and I drive with minivan audacity. You are definitely going to put on a fucking seatbelt on my car because I'm not cleaning up your blood and guts and shit if I have an accident. And I have been in multiple car accidents so far. Not no fault of my own, but still like <clears throat> what the fuck? Just <laughs> no to judging men's living spaces. Men will literally not buy a TV stand, but will have too many fridges. To examining their interesting dating ritual. Okay, but like... <laughs> that's for your sodas. <laughs> I'm also terminally online. I can't fucking say anything. Wish your toes were <clears throat> in my mouth right now. I mean, hey. And although this journey <laughs> is far from over, I decided to take a break to focus on the fairer sex. That's right, the whammon. There are many the things women love in this world. Flowers, chocolate, pumpkin spice lattes, cute yeah. animals, I like shopping, her nails. Shopping, complaining and nagging. Am I right, fellas? But above all else, listen, I don't I I don't want you to tell me how to fix my problems, okay? I probably know how to fix my problems. I want to complain to you and get it out of my body. Don't, when I compl listen, fellas, okay, listen. When your significant other <clears throat> or your friend or whoever, I don't care, comes up to you and they are like, I wanna complain or like, I wanna rant at you or whatever, and they start complaining. You, listen, 
just ask. Like, hey, do you want an ear or do you want a solution? Just ask that question. I promise you more, more times than any, they're going to be like, I just want an ear. Like, I just want to rant. I just want to get the frustration. I just want to vent. I want to vent it out of my body. Okay. I need it. I need it out of my body or I'm going to explode. Okay. Just let them complain and be like, yeah, that bitch. Like, <laughs> just kind of agree with them. Okay. Like, it, like that's it. Don't, don't try to fix our problems. Usually we don't, we're not trying to get you to fix our problems. We want to release the hatred inside of us in a way that is not violent. Give us that. Okay? That's just, just give us that. All right? <laughs> like, I, just, <laughs> I don't want a solution. I want you to agree with me that Becky's a bitch. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> or that Becky's got a big ass. I don't know. Whatever. I want you to agree with me. <laughs> and you don't even have to do... <laughs> hey, Drake. You don't even have to do a lot of it. You just have to go like, mm-hmm. Or like, oh. Like, <laughs> you can just make noises. You don't even have to say words to us, okay? <laughs> like, just halfway pretend like you're paying attention. Make noises, like agreeable noises or whatever at the right times. That's it. That's it. <laughs> like, don't try to fix my problems. Women love posting their own L's. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. And this year, I have had chlamydia twice. That lady's not okay. Like, like... Like, she ain't okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like. <clears throat> so, we currently, um, this is gonna be me pausing a lot. Y'all should just be prepared for that. We live in a situation now. <clears throat> in the 2024s. In the 2020s. Where we are all kind of terminally online, right? We always have our phones on us. We're always on some side of, sort of social media or of some sort getting entertainment or news or whatever. And there's like this push of like you should share stuff. I will I will straight up tell you, I share more with you guys now than I have ever kind of shared with people before. Like I'm very much like if you go on my social medias, other than my like crazy Twitter, <laughs> I don't share a lot of shit. I don't post very often on social media. <clears throat> like, I haven't posted anything on my Instagram since fucking Comic Con. And the only reason I did was because DB reminded me to. And I was like, all right, fuck, I, I meant to, like, post shit. Like, I go months without posting anything onto social media or whatever about, like, me or my life. I'm I'm more active on Twitter than anywhere else. But, like, it like there's like this this push socially especially if you're younger right like gen z down to like post everything on social media post everything about your life everything about what you're doing just everything about social media y'all i'm old okay we've talked about this i lived when it was i lived through dial up i lived through like don't trust people online don't put your information out online like all this other shit right like don't talk to strangers online all this other whatever like i lived through all that like the scare of like online is a scary place and they're gonna come get you okay so like i have like a different relationship with the internet than a lot of people <clears throat> So, like, at least a lot of people that are online now, I guess. Hey, Ray. Yeah, the, the free AOL Frisbee desks. Um, so, like, that's part of the, the – we now live in a place where people overshare online because to them it's not oversharing. It's just them telling you about their life online because that's what everyone is doing. And there's not this feeling of, like, there's some stuff I should maybe not say or not share. That feeling is kind of gone. So, that's a thing. 
Yeah, I don't know. No, the answer is no. No one's okay. I've been working on a pretty <laughs> big video, and I thought it would be nice to take a little break and make some trash content because I know you guys love the trash content. I do. I feel like the last two videos were a little more serious than I usually am, so I feel like it's trash time. So let us answer the question on everyone's mind. Are women okay? No. No, no they are not. But before but no we one's get okay. to deep dive into the psyche of the modern woman, let's quickly get into today's sponsor. Are you tired of this happening to you? Introducing AG1. <laughs> AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that helps mm -hmm. support your immune system, digestion, and whole body health. Packed with 75 vitamins, this video, and- Her nails are really shiny and I like them. Um, can I be honest? I want every single vitamin, supplement, whatever, to be a gummy with sugar on the outside of it. Like- <laughs> I just want to, I just want like a little fruit gummy for all of my vitamins and minerals. I don't think that's asking for a lot. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I just want it tasty. Thank you as always, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. I now did. Get back to the I video. skipped the ad. From posting about their old high school teachers subscribing to them on OnlyFans to posting about their boyfriends cheating on them with their own mothers. Women love posting their own L's. First of all, um, I'm obsessed with Reddit stories. I don't believe that... Um, <laughs> I don't believe in um, most of the stories on Reddit. Like, I feel like they're not real. But I love listening to them because I love listening to other people's drama, even though I don't trust that most of it is real. Because sometimes I'm just like, that. Mm -mm. first of all, the timeline of things that you're claiming is happening isn't possible or you don't obviously know how long it takes for some of these things to, to happen or get return on or whatever. So, like, I don't believe you. And but like, it's fun. Would I take it in needle form? Have you ever had like an IV of um, like vitamins and minerals? Because I have and like it was kind of funny because like a nurse gave it to me and I was like, I taste cereal. And she's like, good, that means it's working. And I was like, okay. But I don't like needles. So no, I would not. Give me a gummy. I'll eat multiple gummies. That's fine. Little tasty vitamin mineral gummies. Let's go. I would know, despite rumors, I am a woman. Now for the boomer demographic who watches me who doesn't know what an L is, an L is a loss and a W is a win. And for the zoomer mm -hmm. demographic that watches me, <clears throat> Gat Gat Ohio Rizzler. <laughs> When you try to be petty and request money from your ex and accidentally send it. <laughs> Here's a hundred dollars for wasting my time and being a cheater. L. Absolute. Sal, friend. Hi. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to Kitty Kendall. You accidentally send it. What do you mean you accidentally sent the money? There's a whole extra button that's like request money. What? How did you fuck L, that up? My ex-boyfriend is now gay and my ex-girlfriend is now straight. Call that the <laughs> conversion therapy. When I helped the guy I was in love with get his girl because I thought maybe he'd fall in love with me in the process. No! Why did she think this would work? Life is not TV. You are not the main protagonist of a Hallmark Christmas movie. Just remember the time I went on a first date to the London Zoo and at the gate he asked if I would mind paying for my own ticket, which I said I would, at which point he pulled out a two for one voucher. So I paid for my ticket and he went in for free. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Listen. Listen. Mm -mm. Okay. If you're gonna do this on a fucking first date. Okay. You gotta be like, hey, I got this voucher. Why don't we split the cost of one ticket? Or. Be like, hey, I got this voucher. One of us could pay for tickets. One of us could pay for food. He did what he had to do. 
you know, something. You have a conversation. Mm. Have a conversation. Okay, like be like, you know, one of us pays for this, one of us pays for food, something like that. Like, I'm not saying like the guy has to pay for everything. That's not what I'm saying. But like that feels kind of if. I would go to the zoo on the first date. I love the zoo. That's fun. You're just walking around. It's a safe place because there's like a lot of people around. And it's fun. I go to a zoo. <laughs> I like zoos. It's also important to note, especially in the yacht. Uh, Here, uh, let me get this for you. Oh, thanks for the gifted sub, Ray. Um, in the yacht, twenty twenty fall, that women oftentimes are more. We're all fucking paranoid, okay? Like we're all extremely paranoid. Um, I am very paranoid. Um. So, like, going on a first date to a place that is safe is important. Like, so, some place that you feel is safe is important. So, like, you know, a zoo where there's a lot of people and it's also an outside activity that is kind of fun. Like, I like going to zoos. Um, <clears throat> I get excited every time I go to a zoo. So, you know. Anyway. I'm just saying, you need to have a conversation. Like that's. Mm. <laughs> I had to break up with him. Our signs weren't compatible. Once again, what? here we go. Astrology is racism for white women. I'm a Gemini, <laughs> and he told me not to flush when I peed at his house to save money. So I obliged until I went through his Discord and found pics of him drinking it. Ah! Oh. Hold on. That made me sick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh no. I invited him to the crib, cooked for him, gave him the sloppiest neck you can manifest in your mind, let him fold me like an origami bird, called him an Uber, then blocked him and never spoke to him again. I really beat him to the punch. We are learning the game too fast. Wow, you what? sure showed him. What? When I broke up with a white boy and he deleted his stop Asian hate story. <laughs> Guys, my friend got banned from Tinder because she'd show up to dates without makeup and the dudes kept reporting her as a catfish. <sighs> I don't know, I've always quickly shown the men I've dated what I look like without makeup because i figure if you don't love me at my naked faced gremlin you don't deserve me at my 2006 myspace mid e-girl <laughs> i wanted this man to be vulnerable with me for so long he finally called me yesterday and opened up but the second he started crying i lost all interest in him quickly women be like men yo Men are allowed to have fucking emotions. Like... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're a chip and I she is a bitch. I need to show their emotions till a man shows their emotions. I told my husband not to buy me a Christmas present. I'm fuming that he actually isn't. Do <sighs> What is that? What is this mind game? Like... What is this? Like, y'all need to learn how to communicate. Like, don't, don't tell, like, hey, don't buy me a Christmas present. You didn't buy me a Christmas present. Like, yeah, because you told me not to. What the fuck? Do not. I repeat, do not listen to women when they say this. Oh, I'm going to McDonald's. Do you want anything? No. Bullshit. Get them fries. I will never. Fr <laughs> I will agree. Get them fries. <laughs> Just in case. I mean, you know. Just in case. <laughs> I'm just saying, like... I like having experiences as gifts. Right now, I'm kind of like, man, I kind of want, like, VTuber art now as, like... <laughs> that was gross, though. Uh, thanks for the, the clip, Bash. Like, I kind of want art of my VTuber now <laughs> as gifts, but, like, experiences, like... Going on a little trip, going to the zoo. Hey, 
hey, Racy, you know, going on vacations. And it doesn't have to be around the time of your, like, holiday. You could pay it forward or whatever. Like, hey, you know, for Christmas, we're going to... Like, I took my parents to Rome for Christmas, and I did that in November of 2019, I think. 20, yeah. 2019? I think so. Um, so it was like, I'm like, hey, this is your Christmas gift, so you're not going to have anything on Christmas, but we're going to Rome in November. This is your Christmas gift. Or, like, I'll be like, hey, I'm going to go somewhere after, in the new year, and that could be my Christmas gift, right? Like, you don't have to, like, it doesn't have to be a physical fucking thing. Also, it could just literally be like, hey, spend the day with me. Or like, hey, could you watch this movie with me? Like, it doesn't... I don't fucking mind games. I can't. I forget this guy I was seeing didn't text me back for three <clears throat> days. And when he finally texted me, I was like, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I was just watching The Sopranos. <laughs> when you are on your third kid and third baby daddy at 23, oh, it's no. the hypersexual personality with a breeding kink for me. You can have a breeding kink and be on birth control. Like, you don't actually have to get pregnant. I'm just saying like i'm just i'm just saying heads up yeah racy we got new emotes um i did i did go see um mugen train with abby on her birthday i had a i went to see the tanya movie like um saga of tanya the evil movie for my birthday one year when it was out with people so like okay for the last time you do not have a breeding kink that is called being a woman it is not a fetish it came free with your genetics someone just asked my due date i am not pregnant a reminder once again that unless a woman tells you she is pregnant please don't assume it's really hurtful. Oh god, yeah. do not do this. I have seen this actually happen in real life. The internet will never know when I'm pregnant, by the way. They'll just have to assume I'm eating good. I was talking to this guy <laughs> I met on Tinder, having the best conversations while we sipped on our boba, but when he found out my body count was close to triple digits, the conversation got quiet. He ghosted me after and blocked my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Do all guys really care that much? Maybe I should start telling my dates that I'm a virgin instead. Emerald, it can be. It doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm in a lot of weird fandom spaces. I'm just saying. And you can fake it. I don't know. Like, you don't... Oh, my God. It's just... I'm not getting into that. Anyway. I... I'm be honest. Okay. Fandom spaces. Like, I... One of my big fandom spaces, quote-unquote, is fucking fan fiction. I really like fan fiction. I read fan fiction from a lot of different, like, fandoms. That is my fandom space, for the most part. And, like, me being crazy on Twitter. Anyway, um... I don't understand. I do. But, like, also, it frustrates me. Because, again, it is 2024. Why is there this whole thing where, like, men having high body counts is like an impressive thing but women it's like oh it's like a you're like a hoe or like a slut or whatever like come on man as long as everyone's being safe like who should you should care what what you worried that she had better dick than you come on get good yes guys care that much and not just guys and especially triple digits if you're somebody who triple digits is like a lot but whatever i don't a care thing or you're a virgin or you yourself have a low body count it's perfectly acceptable to care about body counts but if you a hoe or if you a man hoe and you care about the other person's body count you're a hypocrite but i feel like even if you yeah. are a hoe or a man hoe with like a 20 something body count i feel like you could still judge someone who's in the triple digit i will give how? How are you in the treble digits? How old are you? How how long have you been doing this? How? That's a little scary. I I will be honest. 
thinking about it, the triple digit thing, that's a little scary. Just because I'm like, what are you doing in your free time? Like, what is, what is, what is happening? <laughs> like, what is happening in your world? Like, I, I feel like she's probably just exaggerating too, but I don't, again, I have like this distrust of things on social media where I just don't really trust that half the stuff that's posted on social media is true. I mean, hell, I've been friends with people that lied on their social media all the fucking time. So like, it's a thing that happens. This is why I don't really post a lot on social media. Um, Don't look at my Twitter. That is just me being fandom crazy is different. <laughs> but like, Triple fucking digits? Babe. You not chafing? What's happening? How do you even meet that many people? I, I don't even know 15 people. I'm going to give this one a W because I'm just impressed. That's, that's <laughs> just impressive. When I got pulled over for speeding and the nice officer said I could just show him a picture of license instead because I forgot my wallet and watched me scroll past multiple boob pictures and I couldn't tilt my phone the other way because my dad was in the other seat. Okay, there is nothing more stressful and anxiety inducing than handing someone your phone to show them a picture and you're just like, <laughs> okay, okay, give it back. Because if they accidentally swipe, they're going to be seeing your hentai horse futa. Listen, you can make albums on your phone. Like I have, or like folders on your phone so that this is not a problem for you. And I do that. First of all, I'll be honest with you. I don't have, I don't think I have any pictures of like me naked. Like I don't actually straight up. I don't have any like stop list or whatever pictures of me on my phone. But I do have folders that are like, this is my fan art folder. This is specifically my Call of Duty fan art folder. This is my MXTX fandom folder. Here's my like cats. Um, here's my like reaction folder for like when I have like, when I take like reaction shots and by reaction shots, I, I mean like, or like stupid memes or whatever. Like here's my meme folder. Like I have so like, Am I going to comment on the hentai horse food? I don't, listen, I don't got a dog in that fight. I'm just saying, like, put your, organize your shit, okay? My mom has, like, over 4,000 pictures on her phone. It is a thing of annoyance for me because, like, I'm like, you don't need that many pictures on your phone. But also, like, they're not organized in any way, so it takes her forever to find anything. Organize your shit. Just... Just organize it. Like, <laughs> I don't, like, just... That, that way this does not happen to you. Like, what the fuck? Am I right? Who among us does not have that on their phone? I remember one time I was so obsessed with a boy that I found out his address, his mom and dad's number. I would call his mom, and when she answered, I would make up lies about him so he got his phone taken away so he didn't talk to other girls. Oh my his god. family members' names, how many times he moved houses, what schools he went to, found all his family photos, found all the girls he messed with so I could become friends with them. You're a stalker. And you need therapy. And you need to leave that guy alone. Well, I mean, I guess, like... It was that one time, so we would hope that she's not still doing this shit. But, like, that is scary. That is not normal. What's crazy is men will look at this and they'll be like, I could fix her. Okay, so when I was in third grade, I had a crush on this guy, but he had a crush on this other girl. And I cried about it to my mom. And my mom was like, who cares? They're not going to get married. And that made me feel better until I saw today that they did, in fact, get married. That's funny. This reminds me when people are like... Oh, like, don't worry, your school bully is going to be fat and ugly in the future. No, my school bully is a f***ing bodybuilder now. She could kick my ass. <laughs> it's important to remember that you were not the main character. And sometimes good things happen to people you do not like. L. Yeah. And honestly, you're 27 years old. Time to move on from your third grade crush. A guy I was hooking up with told me I was getting chubby and I should eat less. I just ate an entire f***ing pizza. F*** you, Brian. No, that's legitimate. Like. There's, um. There's other ways you could go about this, right? You'd be like, hey, you want to maybe 
I would like to start working out. Would you like to work out with me? Let's go on walks together or something. Like there's a better way to ease into this than being like, hey, you're getting fat. You should eat less. You should go on a diet. That's mm -mm. like, I mean, there is like ways where you'd be like, hey, yeah, let's go to the zoo together. Let's go on walkies. Let's try to pet the neighborhood cats. Like, I don't know. There's better ways to go about this. Oh, no, no, no. Do not do this. Do not spite eat to get back at that someone one. calling you fat. You go to the gym and you get... What is happening out there? Who is dying? The guy I really like ghosted me because I posted a TikTok about guys with piercings and he didn't have any. Honestly, kind of the man's L here. Women will often talk about what they're attracted to and what their type is. And they'll talk about like what men they find handsome and like men who like that woman will like constantly obsessively compare themselves to those features and those people. They'll be discouraged because they don't look anything like them. Like maybe she likes blonde hair and maybe he has brown hair. But if she likes you, she will make an exception. And maybe she's attracted yeah. to things she didn't even know she was attracted to until she met you. Congratulations. Also, I feel like there's like this whole thing where it's like, you could be the attracted to the idea of something or the aesthetic of something, but not actually be attracted to it on your significant other, if that makes sense. Like, I think, we know I'm weird. We, we've done this whole thing and I, I'm weird about actual people, but like, you know, you can see some artistic or some photos and stuff of people with like, say, tattoos. And I'm like, oh, wow, the, the, that tattoo on that person is very like beautiful. Like it, it complements them really well. I do not personally like tattoos. Most of it has to do with like the whole needle thing. And like also I there's nothing that I feel like I would want to put on my body. That's just me. If you like tattoos, by all means, I'm not saying that tattoos are necessarily a turn off. I'm saying, like, if you get one on your face, I'm probably not going to be like, oh, yeah, I want to date that person. Like, I'm going to be like, that dude's got a tattoo on his face. Like, uh, mm, you know, but like, <laughs> you better cancel. <laughs> but like, you know, you could be like on that person that is attractive, but I'm not going to say that is going to be attractive on every single person. And I might not like that person's personality. So like, I'm not expecting you know, my SO to go get a tattoo that looks like that because it's not going to look the same, you know? But, like, yeah, like, you could like something aesthetically or you could like something in a fandom space. Or you could like something in, like, an art piece or, like, something, but not like it in real life or not like it on your significant other. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I would assume that at some point she's like, hey, I like you. Like, just, I'm just saying. The man who had matched with me the moment I told him I was a journalist. Keep it classy, middle America. Also, guess whose name I'm running through the court records tonight. <laughs> What a chad. Do That's not funny. date journos. You match me on Tinder, so now I'm gonna run your name through the courts. Okay, psycho. Oh, of course you worked for Jezebel. <laughs> Rest in piss. Women need to start using men for sex. Sleep with them Hello, and liquid. block them. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Who wants to tell her? No, but really, not all men do that, so now you're just contributing to this cycle of abuse. Do not do this, woman L. My- Isn't that like- was it tender? Isn't that what tender's about? Or something? It used to be. You there's like apps where it's literally just for hookups. Just do that. It you don't have to get in a relationship with everybody. Like if you just if you just want like a one night stand, there's like ways to facilitate that. Again, I don't understand. Okay, like, again, I, I mentioned I'm very paranoid. So, like, I could not do that. Like, 100% could not. Um, Absolutely. But, like, I don't understand. Like, you know, by all means, I hope y'all all being safe out there. Um, That's scary to me. Like, you know, just, like, hooking up. Just to hook up with, like, strangers that you don't know. 
I don't know, that's scary, but like, good luck. Boyfriend said Be he safe. was into BDSM, so he'd have me doing burpees, planking, wall sits, and push-ups. I was into it, and he said he loves watching girls get pushed to their physical and mental limits when they submit to him. Then after a few months of this, he admitted he was just trying to get me in better shape because he didn't like having sex with me as much as he did at my old weight. Should I be offended? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, y'all, there's there's ranges in BDSM, okay? Um, and yeah, I don't super love that he he did this. There, there's like, okay, I interact with like eighteen to early twenty year olds often. Uh, cause again, I'm, in, I'm in the convention scene or whatever. And every time I'm like, look at these children. And like, <laughs> like that's it. I'm like, I can't relate to any of your fucking, your children. Like you're not done yet. Like <laughs> your brain's not done developing. I can tell. So I, I feel kind of ick about people. Like I usually don't have an issue with age gaps, but with the exception of you have to be older, right? Like you have to be done. Like, your brain's got to be done. So, like, I don't, I don't, I don't love that there's a 10 years age gap and she is just now 18. Like, that makes me kind of uncomfortable. I'm going to be honest. Like, y'all do you, you're consenting adults, but, like, I don't super love that. Just because every time I talk to, like, a 20-year-old, I'm like, oh, you're a child. Oh, okay. Again, I, you know, have a pseudo kid. That I was very concerned because, like, I was significantly older than them. And I was very concerned that they were trying very hard to be my friend. And I was very concerned that they had no one their own age. And then I found out that they did have friends their own age. And it made me feel significantly better because I was like, I, I can't be your peer, man. Like, I, person, I can't relate to any of your problems. Like, I cannot relate to your problems. You need peers your own age. And, like, found out they did indeed have friends their own age and that made me feel a lot better <laughs> like mm. I don't remember a lot of okay so I don't remember a lot of shows that I watched like a long time ago so I'm sure I watched that episode I don't really remember it but that's you know that seems like a kink that <laughs> like I don't know yeah, like, that's kind of how I, I feel. Like, I'm just kind of like, mm, I don't, I don't love that. Get a decent role player and coach, I'll drop down and give me 20. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I mean, like, what I was, fucking 10th Kingdom. You right, though? <laughs> So I will say, like, there, there's a range to BDSM, right? There, it's, it's, there's a range. Okay, pick up something on the more vanilla side of that range and just keep it going. Like, you know, just be like, yeah, this. I don't, I don't know, man. Wow. <laughs> okay, this one is just funny. Wait, what are these ages? 18, there it 29. Is. My old weight? Me and my boyfriend were hanging a TV and I told him to just let me do it. And now there's 30 holes in the wall. How do I tell him I need him to do it? Let your man do man things. Men were built for war and hunting. And now they're sucking cubicles for eight hours a day doing Microsoft Excel. The least you could do is let a man hang a damn TV. I don't care if you can open the jar yourself Give it to him. Men in captivity need to feel like they have a purpose or else they die. Do you notice that men <laughs> are no longer die. persuasive? Once they ask you out on a date and you say no, that's it. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that, actually. Take the no. There's something on, like, a uh, TikTok going around that's, like, a guy saying, like, you don't have to take their rejection. That's scary, okay? We already have issues with people getting murked because someone said, like, does not take a rejection. Well, I don't need... Someone on TikTok telling guys, like, if they reject you, just don't take the rejection. Like, no, take the fucking rejection. Like, just take it. 
That's it, no. <laughs> These guys are told when a woman says no, that means no. And they're yeah. correct. So if they you are say correct. no, you better mean no. Apparently, like a large percentage of men aren't even approaching women anymore. The amount of TikToks I have seen of women secretly filming men hitting on them and the men are not even being creepy. They're being pretty normal. Maybe they're a bit awkward. And the caption's like, this creep was hitting on me. Whoa, how dare him? Like, how do you think your parents met? How are people supposed to meet people nowadays? Yeah, I mean, you can shoot your shot. Just if they're like, no. Then just be like, oh, okay, have a good night. Just leave. First of all, don't like do like talk them up. And then when they're like, oh, no, thank you. Then like shit talk them. Just be like, oh, okay, well, have a good night and leave. Just it. Just bu bye. Okay, bye. That's it. That's it. That's it. Tinder? Like, you can't just walk up to a girl or guy you think is cute anymore. You have to be swiping on them. I am afraid we have me too a little too close to the sun, and now the men are afraid of speaking to us. I asked my boyfriend if he wanted to rail me, and he said he was too tired. So we went to bed, and I literally woke up to him jerking it. Honestly, I can't decide whose L this is. Is it her L because he didn't want to have sex with her? Or is it his L for being too lazy? Perhaps she lays there like a dead fish? I don't know. Maybe... Just Work out your issues in private. <laughs> why, why is this even on TikTok? Wait, no, on second thought, do not work them out in private. This is great content. Please do keep posting. I got asked on a date today and I blocked the guy because he asked me what I wanted to do instead of just telling me. Listen, there is a reason women mm. are so indecisive about things, about where to go, and especially about what to eat. It is in our blood. Back in the caveman times, we didn't have a choice. You hunted the mammals and you dragged them back to the cave. And that is what we ate. So you choose. You bringing home Chipotle is the modern man bringing home a mammoth carcass. <laughs> One time I was gonna have sex with this dude after a concert and we went to okay. shower off and I did this naked little jig and went, it's time to wash me holes and he made me go home. <laughs> to pay and he said okay here <laughs> don't offer to pay if you can't do it listen listen baby <laughs> was that the first <laughs> i just was not the first time you were gonna sleep with this dude maybe if you were hoping for like <laughs> if you're hoping for like a long-term like relationship you maybe should have waited <laughs> to be weird <laughs> <laughs> like you gotta pretend to Here, listen uh, let me get this for you. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the gifted sub listen <coughs> sometimes sometimes you gotta you gotta hide it okay you gotta pretend to be normal for like the first date or two <laughs> <laughs> Introduce them to your quirkiness slowly. <laughs> oh my god. I love this trend of women being like, 
I want this. And men being like, okay. And women being like, wait, no, not like that. For the love of God, just say what you mean. Men do not oh, know my God. how to play these mind games. These boys autistic out here. A guy wrote to me on Tinder calling me quite the catch because I like nachos and always sunny. So I wrote back saying, well, if you're impressed by that, you should see my tits. And he unmatched me. I literally have no idea what men want. See, this is a woman who has on her mind that men want sex, 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 and nothing else. So she came out too strong right out of the gate and scared them off. I was on a blind date. The guy opened up Tinder while sitting there with me and was swiping on girls. I guess I wasn't interesting enough. Haha. -ha. Oof. <clears throat> a lot of pain in that haha. -ha. What's the hardest thing you ever had to say? It's me or the PlayStation. He took the PlayStation over his marriage and 10 year relationship. Whoa! Y'all needed some therapy. Something. If he took the place like the playstation was the breaking point that that comment was the break how many times have you asked him that question it's me or this thing how many things has he given up to where he was finally like you know what that's that's kind of what i feel thanks thanks for the clip <laughs> that's kind of what i feel like <clears throat> you i feel like you do this a lot and that was his fucking breaking point you know because I feel like the PlayStation was not the only thing here. So. Also, going back to the thing where, like, the one with, like, the... You should see my tits and you didn't contact me back. <clears throat> I don't understand these guys that are like, Oh, man, a girl who likes these two interests. I'm like, yeah, I know a lot of girls that like these two interests. It's not weird. Girls like anime and video games. Okay. You know? I get that a lot. <clears throat> oh my god. You know, I always say if somebody offers you an ultimatum between them and something else, take the something else. But in this case, I don't know, a PlayStation? Like, maybe there's more to this story, but ending a 10-year <coughs> relationship in marriage over a PlayStation? I just came to the realization why I'm single every that is not a flattering top. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. I see their wives and they just look like so like, you know, not like this. You know, like, I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> so you're complaining that the guys that you're interested in have like dainty little i guess wives or girlfriends or whatever and not like women that necessarily strength build <clears throat> maybe try picking up guys at the gym talk to guys at the gym or like i mean there's gonna be someone out there that's interested <clears throat> in a woman with piercings and tattoos that work out like that's not weird so many people are like yeah like muscle mommy there you go like they they like that like they look for dex builds not strength builds yeah so like really she put her stats into the wrong model of trophy line that's why guys don't want to wash <clears throat> me up i thought these men wanted like you know big strong tough girls Okay, so first of all, she will find a man, okay? She's adorable. She's self-aware. She's just a little quirked up white girl with tattoos. Who doesn't like a little quirked up white girl with tattoos? I personally <clears throat> love tattoos. I love piercings. If I wasn't such a pussy, I would look like this. In high school, <laughs> I was so determined to get an Avenged Sevenfold logo on the back of my neck. So happy that didn't happen. <laughs> but anyway, some men do like her style. And trust me, judging by the internet, Men love muscle mommies, yeah. but if she's not attracting <clears throat> the type of men she wants, she could just easily soften up her style. She could take the nose ring out. She could put her hair down. I'm not going to say L or W. This is kind of neutral. I'm leaning towards W because she's so self-aware about it, but I think she's going to make it. We're all going to make it, queens. If a man- Like, <coughs> I can't say anything. I have a home gym. I don't go to the gym anymore, but- <clears throat> Sorry, you're going to hear me uh, cough a lot now because of my whole- laughing thing 
Like, I don't know. She could find somebody. And leaves you after you've cheated. He clearly wasn't a real man. Real men would work <sighs> through it and help you become a better woman. They accept you with all your flaws. No, that's a hard, that's a hard no for me. Don't cheat. And like taking this, taking this direction there, that's, that's shitty, man. How did you, like, because I feel like there was no, like, regret from her that she cheated. Like, I feel like she was like, well, I wouldn't have had to cheat if you were a real man. Like, no, you can get out of this relationship. This person's toxic. When I thought <clears throat> my man was cheating on me, so I slept with his dad, but actually he was just planning on his proposal to me and <laughs> ruined it. What? When you go through his phone to see if he's cheating, but you find screenshots of you cheating. When you checked his phone to see if he's cheating, but found nothing, then suddenly he said, my turn. Listen, if your partner wants all of your passwords and constantly wants to see your phone, reads all your texts and wants access to all your accounts all the time, and accuses you of cheating on them randomly, that's most likely projection and they are cheating on you. Not all the time, sometimes they have trust issues, maybe from a different relationship. In these cases, yes, it <clears throat> was projection. Mom of two leaves her husband of 14 years for a stranger she was convinced was her soulmate after one magical night at a conference, only to be ghosted by him. Yikes. I'm sorry, are we supposed to feel bad for this bitch? Because I don't. Men, if yeah. the DNA confirms the baby is not yours, it doesn't change the fact that you must take responsibility of the baby. Women what? go through a lot in marriages, and women deserve better. <laughs> what? 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 Woman, 37, stabs husband multiple times after finding explicit photos of another woman that turned out to be her when she was thinner. No! You don't even recognize yourself? <laughs> what? You don't recognize, babe, baby. This man texted me, thank you for showing <clears throat> me what it feels like to be loved. I can't wait to make you my wife someday. It's gay shit like that that makes me want to Oh my God. Be like, <laughs> wow, thanks. This is why it's so <laughs> hard to convince men to open up. I hope and pray this king has <clears throat> found someone who actually appreciates him when he cheated on- Yeah, no, that was, what, like, Oh, you find, like, a legitimately, like, good guy, it looks like, the one that actually cares about you, who's like, yeah, we're opening up, we're having a good relationship, we're communicating, all this other stuff, and you're like, ew. Bro, that, that's why you're in shitty relationships. Because you don't see someone that's, like, a non-toxic relationship as a catch. Like, what? <clears throat> On me with the same girl my other ex cheated on me with. Girl, that isn't your average hoe. That's your arch nemesis. Yeah, I was like, that girl has got it out for you. <laughs> like, that girl's, listen, listen. Find out if that girl's by. Maybe that girl wants you. She, uh, either you have done something that has turned her against you in turn, like completely forever, or she trying to get you and is going about it in a weird way. But you know what? Just saying. <laughs> you need to either defeat her in battle or commit seppuku right now. No other way. Betrayed. I suggested an open marriage to my husband to spice up our sex life. He then fell for his lover and I was heartbroken. Oh my god. Many, many, many such cases. Woman wants to open up the marriage. Man finds someone else and leaves with her. Because as soon as you open up the marriage, 
he's not going to take it seriously anymore. Yeah. Because you're not taking it seriously anymore. And a lot of people just can't be polyamorous. They can only <coughs> be monogamous. They can only give their love and intimacy to one person at a time. So L. Common open marriage L. Getting two jobs and telling my boyfriend that I'll work 70 hours a week so I can pay the bills so he can find his dream job to find out he was cheating on me on the days I worked 16 hours. When he went on Tinder right in front of me an hour after taking my virginity. Bro! I my cheating husband back to health from severe pain <coughs> trauma. Then he cheated again. Okay, so I know this is about women posting their L's, but God damn, these men ain't shit. No wonder there's yeah. so many insane, broken harpies coming at me when I talk about male loneliness. And no wonder there are so many men who think all women are lying whores. Y'all are destroying yourselves. Stop cheating. Is it that hard to not yeah. fuck someone? I don't think so. Look at my audience. Follow people who haven't done that. I mean, the whole thing. <laughs> Damn, what is her shirt? Is that even a shirt? What is that? It is holding on. It is holding on for its life. What is happening with her shirt? What is that? What is that? Look, this girl's even like, it's holding on, baby, but it's about to not be. Like, look, <laughs> look at that. I'm, I was seeing him. I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment. I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. It was... Ew. Ew. It's fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Demon! Demon! Be gone, vile woman! What is wrong with you? You have created another person with trust issues. People like this should be in jail. People like this should be in prison. <clears throat> People like this should be thrown in the pit. Remembering the time he came home and told me he cheated on me, so I slept with him and made him tell me I was better. When I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me, instead of breaking up, he had me and the other girl give speeches on why he should stay with either of us. And when he chose me, I took him out to dinner and got him thank you presents. Listen, if you wanted a win here, you should have, like, he chose you, and then you'd be like, yeah, now, okay, get the fuck out of my house. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't think so. You ain't shit. You ain't in here for me. Like, what? No, you don't deserve me. Like, oh, I'm the better catch? Great. Go with uh, the not better one. What the fuck is wrong with you? Mm-mm. <clears throat> Never was much of a romantic. I used to beg him to stop cheating on me by giving him money. Me Don't remembering do this. the time I walked in on my boyfriend cheating on me and I left and came back five minutes later and asked to join. They declined. Women, get some self respect. Holy sh. I would say you could do better, but honestly, I don't know anymore. Turn up the cheat. All women should have an affair once in their life. It made me feel sexier and look younger. First of all, did it? Second of all, this is the kind of shit the average woman has blasting into her mind 24-7. And you wonder why like 45% of them are destined to be single in 2030. And on the flip side, you have all these like Manosphere red pill people excusing cheating, but that's a video for another day. Is the man- Don't cheat on your significant other. Like if y'all are having issues, any kind of issues, I don't care. Have a conversation. And if you feel like you can't have a conversation, go to therapy. Either go to personal therapy or go to couples therapy. Like, what is this? Like, I... It is... What? No! The answer is not have an affair, cheat. That That is never the answer. What the fuck? I don't care if you find out your significant other is cheating on you. Do not revenge cheat. Especially if you're married and you're going to go through a divorce. That's not going to help you, okay? Like, <clears throat> that's just going to make it worse. Like, just don't... What the fuck? <laughs> I just don't... What? It, what? And I'm cheating with lying to me like he does to his wife. Yes. Yes. Yes, he is. Yeah. Next, I've cheated on every single one of my significant others. Would you still take a shot? Fellas... Would you take a shot? I swear to God, women with big titties can get away with anything. The power dynamic of the world is this. The peasants, the rich, the elites, the deep state, women with big titties. Broke up with my boyfriend who loved me so I could hook up with my coworker that I've had a huge crush on since forever who just got out of a 3.5 year relationship. All to get pumped and dumped. 
thinking about how my perfect first boyfriend who was nice and bought flowers and gifts and planned surprise dates and never followed girls on social media and how I dumped him because I was bored and went off to date men who literally abused and cheated on me, LMAO. Thinking about the time I left a man who would do anything to make me happy for a literal bum. When I had a boy that had loved me unconditionally since we were 13, flies across the country to surprise me, and after two years still supported me and worshipped me, and I let him down for a lying, cheating piece of shit. I'm so There's like this whole thing <clears throat> where like... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if this is like another thing of like, you know, being terminally online that we are as like society right now or what where like you see everybody and it's like oh all these you know other girls are having these exciting lives and like you're comfortable because there's like you know there's like the honeymoon phase and then there's like comfortable like you're comfortable right and things kind of I guess become saming or normal or just like whatever but like you're never going to be in a relationship where it is 100% the honeymoon phase. That's not really a thing. Like, after a while, you become comfortable in your relationship and you become comfortable with this other person. Like, maybe you move in together. Like, maybe you get married. Whatever. you. And it's not necessarily going through the motions. Because when you, when you feel like, oh, we're just going through the motions. Like, that's not necessarily great. But, like, you could be like, you know, I'm comfortable. I, I enjoy my life. I enjoy my like significant other we're comfortable together we we live a comfortable life that should be the goal not whatever your fucking honeymoon phase is because like honeymoon phase is everything is new and exciting because you don't know how long this is gonna last or like you don't know how long that feeling is is gonna be be like that right or you don't really know that person that well yet or maybe they don't know you that well yet like you're still exploring one another like so everything is fun and exciting like why are you you find someone who you are like legitimately comfortable with everyone in in here is like comfortable this person is dedicated to you they're loyal to you they're you know on they're in your corner and you get bored, so you're like, I'm gonna go for the honeymoon phase. It's called therapy. It's called trying out new sex stuff or whatever. It's called maybe trying new things, going to new places. Like, you can make your relationship more exciting and more fresh or more, like, honeymoony in the relationship where you know you have a good, non-toxic, stable relationship. You don't have to leave that person. But also, I feel like, I feel like, to be honest with these women, they don't deserve those men if they're just dumping them for pieces of shit. Like, because they're like, oh, I just, you know, I dumped him for, like, a lying piece of shit or, like, a cheater or whatever. That man did not, that man deserves better than you. Like, 100%. Like, what is wrong with you? I hope that man found someone who was his perfect match because, Jesus Christ, you're stupid. I don't know. Like, <sighs> Starting to suspect there's not a male loneliness epidemic and it's more of a avoiding these evil bitches epidemic. This video was turning me into a misogynist. I always thought the woman leaving the nice guy for the bad boy and getting her heart broken was a silly trope. Like, I knew it happened, but I didn't know it happened this much. L's all around. Throw these women in the pit. I hope these guys find women who appreciate yeah. their niceness. Because believe it or not, despite popular belief, most women do like that. I asked him how tall he was and he said, I'm five and I immediately hung the phone up. Turns out he's 5'11". How oh do I God. apologize? I don't understand this whole thing where it's like you have to be minimum six foot. Why? I'm fucking five three. Fucking Abby's like what? Five seven or some shit? She's tall. Okay? Like I don't like I I don't under six foot. What the hell? Why? Why? Like I I really I legitimately don't understand. I'm short, so like anyone taller than me. It might as well be six foot. I don't care. Whatever. You're taller than me. You're a giant. I don't know. Like. I, I fucking. 
Okay, see, I'm 5'3". I don't fucking know. I don't know fucking tallness. You're tall as shit. You're a fucking tree. I don't know, man. Like, I <laughs> just... <laughs> Right, okay, so, so he's over here 5'11", fucking long bitch, okay? Like, I can't, I'm 5'3", everyone is fucking tall to me. <laughs> like, I don't understand. I don't understand why all, why all these women are like, no, they have to be six foot. Why? Why do they have to be six foot? How tall are you? Even if you're hard tall. I don't care if I've got heels on. I don't care if I've got the chunkiest motherfucking heels I own on, okay? I, Abby's still taller than me. <laughs> like, I just... Abby walking around and just fucking chucks or whatever, and I'm just, like, still shorter. Like, I, whatever, man. Like, what does it matter? And if you're dating someone who's not, if you're tall and you're like, but I like wearing heels and you're dating someone who you end up being taller with than in heels and they have an issue, then yeah, don't get with them because they got like issues, right? Like they, they can't match your energy. Like if they're like, oh yeah, here's my long bitch and she's even taller today because she got these crazy heels on. Yeah, she can rest her chin on my head, whatever. Like, you know, if find someone chill. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I rejected this sweet guy various times, then a couple months later he's dating someone new. Then once I got home I cried. The time my prison pen okay. pal came out of jail f me once and never spoke to me again after two years of telling me he loved me and wanted me to be in his life forever. I'm sorry. Your what? Your prison pen pal? You're telling me the convict in jail was not a good person? <laughs> of all people? <laughs> I left my husband because the sex was boring. Now I'm having the same problem with my new partner. There... There is a common factor here. He proposed... Listen. Again. The sex was boring. Then introduce- have a conversation with them. Introduce them to new- new sexual things. Okay, get some toys. I don't fucking know. Figure it out. Like, it's you. You're the problem here. You're the one that's getting bored. Like, maybe you're like- like, I guess you're like- Sign up for a club, man. I don't know. Fine. <laughs> Go on some websites. Figure some stuff out. Like, if you're like, oh, I get bored of just the same thing, then introduce them to something else. Do some experimentation sexually in bed. Like, bro, that's it. That's all you got to do. Figure it out. Figure out what you like. Introduce things. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, I guess the worst that can happen is they get freaked out and they, like, break up with you. But, like... Again, have a conversation and like introduce things. And if you are secure enough in your relationship and they are secure enough in your relationship, you can try new things and have like a line where it's like, I 100% am not into that thing and I do not want to do that. But we can try maybe this other thing and, you know, try things out and be like, hey, you know, we tried it. I didn't like that. Can we try something else? It is called communication. Figure it out. If you can't, go to therapy. Jesus. Aw, that's nice. To the girl he dated after me. Oh. I know we all mm. let our dogs eat us out at least once. <laughs> what? No. We don't. No, we don't. What? We don't do that. I'm sorry. We? Us? <laughs> Who is this us and... You better be using that royal we, because that is not me. We, you speak of. One time, I was riding a dude, and he pressed my bladder, so I ended up peeing all over him for a solid minute, and after I said, I'm claiming my territory. I pee in the shower so frequently that my feet are dyed yellow. What? I left my underwear on the bathroom floor after my shower the other day, and now there's ants eating my discharge. Why? I'm showing this, but it's literally just dirty underwear with ants all over it. You know, growing up, I was always told, like, oh, boys are the smelly, messy gender, and I don't know about that. Confession, one time somebody nutted in I hate this. I hate this. Why am I here? What? How? How did I get here? How? Why? What? 
in my mouth and his semen was chewy. I held my oh! tears. Oh God, this one made me gag. Whose L is this? Is this hers or the man's? I don't even know. See a fucking doctor. Okay guys, I really need help. Every check from my sugar daddy bounced. Mm -hmm. Wells Fargo is closing my accounts and I'm gonna owe them a lot of money. Like thousands and thousands. I'm in a full blown panic right now. I don't know what to do. You know, as a socialist, I, I really hate to say this and I wish we lived in a different society and didn't have to give all our time and our life to this labor under this evil capitalist system, but get a fucking job, bitch. I spent 20K on plastic surgery to try to get a man, but it hasn't worked. I've been single for seven years. Well, you went from cute and unique to like cookie cutter Kardashian alien, but perhaps it is- She does kind of look like a Kardashian. It is kind of mean, but- It is not the way you look. Maybe it is something else. You do not have to look like a blow up doll to find love and- Listen, okay. Okay. When you get a bunch of surgery, like cosmetic surgery, and you look like that, that you are high maintenance and and what i mean by that is there is a lot a lot that has to be done did you know if you get a boob job you have to get it redone in like 10 years or some shit like that like you have to get your boob jobs redone after a while and like you know there's it, when you get plastic surgery there is like a legitimate amount of time of you recovering from that and so there's gonna be a depending on where you're looking for men there's gonna be a lot of men that are gonna be like that is high maintenance also you look high maintenance and that's not necessarily negative i'm not trying to be negative about it like you have your hair done you have your hair dyed you have your nails done you have your like full glam makeup you have definitely gotten work done like so men are going to look at you and be like, that is a high maintenance woman. That is not to my speed because a lot goes into it. And it's a lot of money. Like it is a lot of money. And so there's like, and there's this, you know, expectation of when you're in a relationship, the man pays, right? And if he ends up marrying you, then, and you want to continue looking a certain way, you're probably going to want to continue doing plastic surgery or elective surgery, and that's going to be something that he has to now pay for and facilitate. And he's probably just like, that's not my speed. You're not looking in the right tax bracket, baby doll. You need to get on some different websites. Like, that's probably... That is... That is probably a part of your problem. Like... Like, you need to find somebody within a certain tax bracket. Because you're, you're looking too low. You're too high maintenance looking for people not of a higher tax bracket. Like, that's that's all I could say. Like, <laughs> the the Kardashians look that way because they can they have money and they can afford to look that way. They can pay themselves to look that way. So depending on where you're looking for men, men are going to be like, that's a lot of money. I don't want that responsibility. I'm just saying. Just... Just honestly. In fact, you're more likely to not find love looking this way. $25,000 L. Everyone my age is having children, buying houses, and getting married. And I'm just over here crying with happiness that I got to hear Hillary Clinton say human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights in person. <laughs> you don't have kids? How old are you? Me, 31. That surprises me. I'd be lost without my kids. I mean, how do you find meaning in life? Me. Marvel keeps coming out with films, so I have that. I have- I'm not- So I wanna just say this. If you wanna get plastic surgery, that is your business. It is your money. It is your time. It is your body by all means. I have no issue with women getting plastic surgery or men getting plastic surgery. I honestly don't care. I'm just saying the amount of plastic surgery that she has gotten or thing it's not even just plastic surgery. The amount of maintenance, body, hair, face, nails, all of that, it's high maintenance. I get my nails done now, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm lazy about it. Like, But I still have to go like twice a month maybe. I put it off. Like, the way I get my nails done, I can put it off for, like, a while. But, like, I still have to go get my nails done once or twice a month. 
right? And that costs money. So that's a thing. Like it, everything you do, like I, I get my hair dyed too. Funky kind of colors. Again, I am lazy about it. I'm kind of the worst. Like I get root melts. So like I get my hair, um, I guess bleached, toned, and then I get a root melt of a weird color, which just means that my roots are are dyed a weird color and it makes a gradient effect, okay? So like right now, it's mostly washed out. I got to reapply it, but like I have purple in my hair. So like my roots can be purple. Like the under parts of my roots are purple. So like, but I have a great hair guy who's just like, here's the less leftover dye. You can take that home. You can reapply it in the shower when you want to. Because I've told him, I was like, I kind of want to get this done, but I don't want to have to come back every two to four weeks. Like, I don't want to have to come back every month to get my hair done or every few weeks to get my hair done. That's going to drive me crazy. I'm not going to do that. And so he's like, cool, I'll just send you home with the, the extra dye. Like, no skin off my back. I don't give a shit. So, like, it's, like, great. So, like, I can reapply it when my roots start, like getting to the point where I'm bothered by it, I will go back and be like, hey, could you retouch up my roots? And that's it. Like, but most people are not like that. And if you're going to have like light colored hair, there's going to be a part where you're like, okay, my roots have grown out too much. I have to go get it done. And it is a constant thing. Like my mom gets her hair done all the time because she gets it dyed because she has gray hair coming in and she doesn't like it. I don't have that fucking energy, to be honest. Like, I just don't. Like, I very infrequently go to get my hair done. Like, very infrequently go to get anything done, to be honest. So it's like, oh, have, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, but, like, if you are fully in just, like, my hair is always perfect. My nails are always perfect. Like, I've got a bunch of plastic surgery. It, again, there's also, like, a, a point in time where it's, like, if you get a husband, there is a good chance that you're going to continue getting some sort of plastic surgery to continue looking a certain way which is fine it's your business I don't care it's it's whatever it's perfectly fine if that's what you want to do but your husband's going to be paying for it and your husband's going to have to take care of you is your husband a, working a job where he can take off the time where you can both take off the time for you to get this plastic surgery and to nurse yourself back to health. Like, is your husband going to be able to take time off to nurse you back to health or pay someone to be near you to help you? Or are you going to go live with your parents and your, or are your parents able to take time off work or are they retired and they can help you? Are they physically able to help you? Like if you need to, if you need help standing up or like, support or something like it's a lot it's a surgery it is a lot like have you ever had surgery like I've had multiple surgeries and sometimes I couldn't stand up by myself so it's like like even when I had just liposcopic like removing cysts or whatever there was definitely times when I could not stand up for a few days after surgery by myself like my mom would have to come stand me up and that was just to remove a cyst like it's a lot. Like, I don't. <laughs> so, like, you know, looking at this, it's like this is a high maintenance person that costs a lot of money, right? So, like, do you have a job that can facilitate that lifestyle for her? And if you don't, is she going to be happy? And if she's not happy, are you going to be happy? No. So you're just not going to date that person. Like, right? So you need to find a guy that is able to facilitate the lifestyle that you have shown that you want. I'm just like, you get me? Like that person has shown that they have a certain lifestyle that they want by going and getting these surgeries, getting, um, you know their hair done a certain way, their nails done, all this other stuff. They have a lifestyle that they are projecting that they want to have. So only certain people are going to be able to facilitate that because it's a lot of money and it's time. It's not just money, it's time. It is the ability to get the time off or it is the ability to hire somebody. So like, that's what I mean. I'm not trying to be like, oh, you should get plastic surgery. I don't give a shit. That's that's your business. I don't care. Like, do whatever makes you fucking happy. I 100%. 
do whatever makes you feel better about yourself that you have the money for. Like, be be responsible about it. Don't get shit you can't afford. But, like, you know, do whatever. I've known multiple, like, I, I'm in the cosplay community. There's been multiple people that have gotten all kinds of, co- like, different cosmetic surgeries around me in some way, shape, or form. And it's like, whatever. I hope you're happy after getting it done. Like, legitimately. But, like... If you are trying, if you're doing all this to get a significant other, you need to understand that doing all this is projecting a certain lifestyle and a certain amount of money and time you expect your partner to be able to facilitate for you. I'm sorry, I've been on this rant for a minute. Average millennial reject love and family, embrace corporate media slop. Okay, it's one thing to just not want kids. It's another to cope like this. At least I have Marvel movies. At least I have Hillary Clinton bleak. Thinking about the fact that I offered him $100 a week to add me back on Snap and talk to me and he said no. I was so ready to pay that too. I still Why? am. I will Why? still pay you to add me back. Please, I'm begging. No. Could you imagine this reversed? Like men paying money to talk to a crazy woman? Oh, wait. <laughs> That's like 60% of my Discord. I'm Rhea. Donnie. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Fun fact about Donnie. He's a Marvel nerd. Are you into Marvel? You know what? No. Like my uh, mom, but I just can't get Cheer into 100. Anime. Like... That's fine. Like, like, I can't get into anime talking about Marvel. She's not into the same stuff that you're into. She's not into your kind of fandom. She's not into the social media or not the social media. She's not in the media you like. Do you have a connection in any way? Do you have similar interests? It does not look like it because she doesn't know that Marvel's not anime. She doesn't. She's saying she's not into it. Like, that's fine. That's not going to work out. Like, you can't not like Marvel. It's amazing. There's so many different things and it's not anime. It's just like a bunch of superheroes. Okay, no. It's not, you can't not like it. Um, Yes, you can. Especially lately, the movies have not been good. I don't care. Whatever. And I've never been into comic books. I like some of the animated stuff. I have been having issues with the live action stuff lately. I could go on a whole rant about that. But if he was like, hey, we just don't have similar interests... That's not going to work out. I would respect it. The stuff he's saying now, though, is kind of a lot. I'm trying to save everybody. Oh, no. We need to hook this guy up with the other woman who's like 31 and single and only looks forward to Marvel movies. They are a match made in heaven. When I remember that I basically begged a dude who had his mattress on the floor and a plastic jug full of loose change on his mantel to be with me and he said no. Still can't believe I f***ed a guy who made me drink water out of a Tupperware container. I f***ed a guy with actual shit on his floor. Okay, this is why so many women think men are improving or putting in a lot of effort because they don't have to. They can have literal shit on their floor and you will f*** them. How are women's standards so high and simultaneously so low? I'm a liberal. It's hard to find masculine men to date who aren't conservative. Ladies, stop, stop, stop f***ing thinking you need your man to align with you completely because you know who's gonna align with you completely? A woman. A woman with bipolar disorder. A woman marries a dog after 220 failed relationships with. Is this the same woman asking about the dog eating them out? Men. The fate of every lonely man is suicide, and the fate of every lonely woman is marrying her dog. Unfortunately, I can't make a cute recap video of this year because I spent 2022 ugly crying over my ex, quit my job, ended up in the psych ward, and got an STD. It really does need to be studied why women love posting their L's. My theory is that like women's go-to humor is self-deprecation. Like Kinda, female yeah. comedians do it often. Even me, like I'm constantly making self-deprecating jokes and videos. Same. So it could be that or it could be just like, a cry for help <laughs> or attention. I have no idea. It does get attention. But again, in 2024, we are terminally online. We are always connected. And we feel like we have to share. Okay. So, you know, there's all these, like, people getting annoyed at, at influencers that they see, like, in just society, I guess. I don't know. Just at random places. And they're like, we should just ban influencers and stuff like that. And it's like... 
Because they're being obnoxious. Like, they're doing shit you shouldn't do. They're being obnoxious. They're breaking rules and stuff just to get, like, a quick video to post up on Instagram or TikTok or threads or wherever. And, like, it's, like, shit. Like, people walking on, like, the... When you're at the airport, the the luggage carousel thing, it's, like, there was, like, a girl, like, strutting. Like, it's a runway on the, like carousel thing while like bags are falling onto it behind her and like all this stuff and people are like we should we should be an influencers and I'm like people like it's weird to me that people keep doing shit like that where it's like what the fuck are you doing get down like why has no one pulled you down like why hasn't security come and pulled you down what are you doing like but it is this thing where we feel like we have to get a certain amount of likes or a certain amount of views or attention or whatever. I mean, here I am on Twitch just hanging out with people, but, like, it's it's like a thing, right? So, like, you go to anime conventions and you see people quietly dancing to songs that you don't hear, but they're doing, like, a TikTok dance or whatever. And they're going to, you know, put the music on top of it and then post it. And it's, like, a cute little fun video that people like. But it looks weird when you're watching them do it. And it's, like, my whole thing is, like, well, if they're not hurting anybody and they're not breaking any rules, like, let them have fun. Like, who cares? If you're walking on a carousel at the airport, maybe don't do that. But, like, there's this, we are terminally online, we're terminally connected. We are, like, always. And... There's this, you you're only mean something based on how many likes or views or people that follow you or whatever that you have, which is like a newer thing, right? Because like it's, it has to do with social media, the rise, rise of social media, all this other stuff. Um, anyway, uh, so like. Now it's just oversharing. Like, you have to overshare what's happening in your life. And, like, because it gets a reaction from people, right? It gives you those likes. It gives you those follows. It gives you those views. And and it gives you those comments. Like, people are going to comment and stuff, right? right? Like, you're hoping. Also, because, like, a lot of social media stuff, influencers, they make money off this. So, like, doing this, like, gets a reaction. And the you hope it blows up. And then you're getting money. I don't know. So, you know, oversharing, that's just a thing. Like, it doesn't hurt them. I don't do that, but, like, like overshare. I Well, I feel like I do, but not in this kind of way. Like, I overshare about what's happening with me, like, health-wise. Or, like, if I'm, like, having a depressive episode or something, like, it'll be like, I'm sad. Like, <laughs> but, like, I don't know. This is so weird. But, uh, but what I do Timmy. know is you couldn't beat this sh out of a man. So that was that, whatever that was.